Nature is often the model on which our technology is based. For example, the sun's heat is transferred to the earth by rays, electromagnetic rays at infrared frequencies. The rays themselves aren't hot, they're simply carriers of heat energy. Electrical technology allows us to simulate this system by using tungsten filament lamps operating at a temperature of 2000 Celsius. In this way, we harness the powerful properties of infrared energy, heat transfer at the speed of light and at high concentration. Such equipment is used in the automotive industry. This industry has long been plagued by paint drying problems. For instance, dust adhesion, surface bloom and production bottlenecks. Premier panels overcame these difficulties by force drying with a mobile panel of low-powered electric infrared globes. The drying times achieved from three to 10 minutes and the excellent surface finish are evidence of the high efficiency of an electric infrared system. Capital Motors can bake a partially or completely refinished vehicle in just seven minutes. The oven used is a travelling tunnel oven, so-called because it travels on rails between two spraying stations. The choice of heating equipment is largely determined by the production rate. The protective and finished coats on ASEA transformers are baked in a leisurely four hours, a vast improvement on the 36 hours necessary for air drying. Infrared energy is generated by metal sheathed elements and is directed towards the transformer by polished aluminium reflectors. Metal sheathed elements have a number of properties which can often be used to good advantage. In particular, they're resistant to shock and vibration and capable of being formed into almost any shape to suit a specific job. In addition, the radiated wavelengths are rather longer than those emitted by tungsten elements and are better absorbed by some substances, notably glass. Higher production rates justify more sophisticated equipment. In furniture manufacture, large quantities of timber panels are required. Fast, Economical drying of surface filler and finish coats is essential. Running costs are minimized by the use of photoelectric product detectors. They switch the heaters on only when required. At Sunshine Cabinet Works, a specially engineered electric infrared oven is fitted with tungsten filament G30 lamps. The lamps are mounted in highly efficient gold-plated reflectors. Even the width of the product is sensed by detectors and only the corresponding width of heater bank is energized. Maintenance is negligible and is limited mainly to the cleaning of reflectors and the occasional replacement of the inexpensive lamps. Lamp life is generally of the order of five to 10,000 hours. Irrespective of shape, size and type of coating, the panels are economically dried and can be handled and stacked immediately on leaving the oven. Elite furniture cater for a different sphere of the trade, so they use a different production technique. Assembled furniture is prime coated and carried into a tunnel oven lined with tungsten filament lamps. The tunnel is divided into a number of heating zones in order to cater for products of differing height and length. The finish coat is applied and the product enters a larger oven using the same sophisticated engineering techniques. Product detection, zoned and precisely controlled radiant density, progressive and regressive energization of the lamps. Economic techniques made possible by the instant response of tungsten filament lamps. At ACE screen printers, the greatest production barrier to the screen printing of thousands of plastic bottles per day was the space required for air drying of the product.
bottle and container labels are applied by the screen printing process. Twin variable speed belts pass through a double oven, each side fitted with high-powered tubular lamps. The radiant density is controlled so precisely that the printing inks are dried in a little more than a minute, while the low melting point plastic bottles are unaffected. The system completely eliminates the space and labour problems associated with air drying. Faced with the problem of manufacturing 350 fire extinguishers a day in a limited factory area, Gravener Proprietary Limited found a fast, efficient solution by combining an automatic paint spraying system with electric infrared heating. After each priming, a final coat of baking enamel is applied with an electrostatic spray gun. The product enters the infrared tunnel oven. Overhead mounting was made possible by the low weight and simple design of the oven and of course valuable floor space is still available underneath the oven. Uniform heat distribution is helped by rotating the product as it passes the metal sheathed infrared elements. The oven, built by the company itself, includes a variable speed conveyor to allow for a multiplicity of drying times and product shapes. The completely dry product can be handled for assembly and packing immediately it leaves the oven. Fry pans are sprayed with a polyamide coating at a rate of 120 per hour at J&G Bellamy's factory. The high heat transfer rate of infrared energy enables the product temperature to be quickly raised to the curing point, almost 300 Celsius, in the first section of the two-zone oven. In the second zone, precision control holds the product at the correct temperature by providing just sufficient power to balance heat losses. In this way, power costs are held to an absolute minimum. Once again, the high power density of an electric infrared oven solved the problem of restricted space. Bellamy's oven is less than five metres long, about one quarter the length of an equivalent convection oven. With the ever-increasing construction of large office blocks, fittings for fluorescent lamps are in constant demand. On both the inside and outside surfaces, acrylic enamel is cured quickly and uniformly. Instant response of the lamps permits initiation of the oven as products enter and pulse time deactivation of the oven when no product is available. This instant heat up and cool down characteristic completely eliminates standby power losses with considerable operating cost savings. D and N sheet metals production rate increased tremendously with the installation of the oven. Modular construction simplifies oven design so that any size and shape of product can be accommodated. The main design factors are the ratio of surface area to mass of the product and the temperature time characteristic of the paint or surface coating. Ream Australia make use of low line speeds and high temperatures for large fuel tanks. Even internal coatings can be cured by means of heat conducted through the shell. Today's production of completely finished tanks is mute but eloquent evidence of the efficiency of even small electric infrared ovens. For many years, Lukey mufflers have made use of two ovens. Thermal degreasing takes place in an overhead unit in order to save floor space. 
The process is a simple one in which oil and grease are incinerated by raising the metal temperature to 350 Celsius. Mufflers are hand sprayed on the line before they move into the paint baking oven. Both ovens are push button controlled from ground level. Experience has proved beyond doubt that little maintenance is required with infrared systems, particularly those which incorporate gold reflectors and tungsten elements. The completely baked mufflers are stacked for storage or distribution immediately they leave the oven. The oven at Australian tube mills is designed for convenient access to the tubular lamps and the gold plated reflectors. Push button controls activate both the tungsten elements and the overhead fans. These fans remove solvent vapour and at the same time cool the reflectors. Tubes are formed from metal strips and protected by a coat of electrostatically sprayed zinc enriched primer. The protective coating is baked at up to 30 meters a minute, fast drying indeed, made possible by the high radiant densities achieved with tubular infrared lamps. Powder coating and electric infrared curing are the perfect combination to eliminate the air pollution associated with liquid paint coating. At New Trend aluminium windows, an electrostatic spray gun distributes powder evenly over the aluminium extrusions for window frames. A photoelectric product detector activates the heater when the extrusions approach and the elements are turned off automatically when there are gaps in production. The curing temperature of 185 Celsius is reached in one minute and the powder is perfectly cured after a further three minutes at the temperature. In the past, the high production rates required for coated textiles have implied very long process ovens. Yorkshire chemicals cure plastic coatings at up to 14 meters per minute in an infrared unit only three meters long. The oven is divided into four zones and the control of each is infinitely variable. Perfect heat profiles are attained at the touch of a button. Modern techniques are a far cry from the old when even a small change in product temperature involved a time and money consuming operation. Flock coating is a relatively new process in which short plastic fibers are applied to an adhesive surface. An electrostatic method of application makes the fibers stand on end so that a furry effect is achieved. Drying the adhesive without melting the fibers is a tricky business, but Sheese and Son have overcome the problem with an infrared oven. Controlled heat from tubular quartz tungsten elements completes the process in about one minute. After passing through a cooling system, the flock coating process is complete and the material is ready for stacking.
Tractor is one of our largest lawnmower manufacturers. To cope with increasing demand, a twin conveyor system has been installed, one a manual spraying line, the other using a dip painting process. Each line includes two infrared baking ovens. The company has elected to preserve floor space for other uses by elevating the oven. Each oven conforms strictly to the safety regulations prescribed by statutory authorities, the local electricity commission, the Department of Labour and Industry, the fire and insurance underwriters and the relevant Australian standards. For many people, the caravan is a second home. To provide hard-wearing interior panels of pleasing appearance, Henderson's apply a coat of melamine to a timber base. Prior to the curing process, a plastic sheet is stretched over liquid melamine and the panel then passes between rollers which spread and flatten the surface. The panel is detected by a micro switch beneath the conveyor. Curing temperature is rapidly attained in the initial zone of the oven, which is fitted with high power tubular T3 lamps. The temperature is maintained in the second zone by low power G30 lamps. And it doesn't have to be an oven, even handheld electric infrared equipment is available. But whatever type of equipment is used, you can be sure that electric infrared will raise your profits. Electric infrared is extremely efficient, many times more efficient than any fuel-fired system. Electric infrared equipment cannot produce pollution. It's economic to operate, product detectors turn heaters on only when required and guarantees that there's no power wastage. Equipment cost is low. Standard modular sections mean reduced construction costs. Infrared ovens save space, one third or less the size of convection ovens. Their lightweight construction enables overhead mounting, thus saving valuable floor space. Ovens operate without warm-up or cool-down delays. It is safe equipment. Instant switch-off prevents product damage due to conveyor failure. It is fast. Process times are reduced to a fraction of convection drying times. Equipment is versatile. Heat control is simple, instantaneous and variable over a wide range. Oven configuration is easily adapted to varying product sizes. So whatever your drying or curing problem, electric infrared is the quick, efficient new way to help you raise your profits.